Good morning. I'm downstairs in my downstairs bathroom where I tell everybody that I have a mirror with suction cups on a window, 10 times magnifying, that I really like to put my makeup on in. And it's just not feasible for me to be able to do that and do a video. So oftentimes I find that I've put on too much makeup when the video is over and I'm really trying to perfect that. But the best way for me to do it is when I'm done putting on my makeup in the video, I come down here and I check on this mirror right next to where I'm filming. And I make mental notes and I say, yeah, too much foundation, too much concealer, stuff like that. Or your eyeliner is too harsh. Or maybe you should go with a pencil instead of the liquid. Well, it depends on how I feel. So that's my answer to that. But I thought I would do a quick video before I do my card reading. So this will go up and then the card reading video will go up after this. There are some people that think that I look better with no bangs. So let's check that out. Here I am with bangs. Okay. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what the heck I am doing. Oh, there you are. Okay, so I'm going to put my bangs back. This is the way I used to wear my hair in high school, all throughout college, and when I got married the first time until I had my second child. And then when I had my second child, I got my hair all cut off, and I told you that, into that Dorothy Hamill style wedge back, and my hair was perfect for it. But my hair is not naturally wavy. Some wave in the middle, in the back, but not, not generally. And so there was a lot of, you know, blow drying that had to go on. And then when I got up the next day, I was, after, you know, doing all that, my hair was sticking. I, I, I said, forget it. After a few years, I'm like, I'm growing my hair back out. That's just the way it is. But growing out the bangs was really difficult. And so I ended up getting a wavy perm to be able to grow out my bangs, but I didn't want to keep perming my hair. So I decided that I was going to have bangs moving forward. So I pinned my hair back and I decided I was going to keep bangs because I can feather them. I have three, three cowlicks, one here, one here, and one in the back of my head. When I have short hair, the wrong cut, and I'm in trouble, okay? Number one. Number two, I do wear my hair up a lot, so it's as if I have short hair. But as far as the bangs, I don't want to put stress right here, okay? And when you have long hair, depending on how heavy it is, it pulls. And as I'm getting older, I don't want this receding hairline that goes all the way back to here. So having bangs allows for all these little wispy hairs right here to grow without that pulling. Because my hair is really thick from here down to about here. And then it starts to get thinner because that's what happens with long hair. And so as it grows and grows, we trim. Well, I'm letting mine grow, grow, grow. And my husband has been trimming my hair for quite a few years now. My daughter, 
my youngest daughter, um, she's got a couple of different certifications, degrees. But at one time, she became a barber. And I used to, when I went to visit her, she would take out her barber shears and she would trim my hair. But my husband does it. And like I said, I use him as a checking point. So if after I wash my hair and I, it's dry and I comb it, I'll say, does my hair need a trim? And he'll be like, ah, oh, you can let it grow a little longer. You can let, because he knows how long I want it before I cut it straight across. And I like straight cut across. I don't like all these fancy, you know, cut up to here, cut up to there. I don't want my hair to look shaggy and I don't want to have to use a a rolling brush man I did that I did that when I had short hair and I did that when my hair was growing out and there was nothing more of a pain in my butt than to have to get up in the morning look at the clock and go darn I gotta do my hair that that's where I am at in my life. But I want to do a little something here. I'm going to take my bangs down. Okay, so this is without bangs. You can definitely see my wrinkles, but you know, that that that's not the reason why I have bangs. All right. And I'm going to take a rat tail comb for teasing. And I take my bangs... Let me get this out of the way. And I take my rat tail comb and I tease my bangs. Who do I look like? Anyway, I and I comb them to give them a lift. And if it's not enough, I will go back, I will pick up my hair again, and I will tease. And then I'll bring the hair down. But I cut my own bangs. I don't go to a hairdresser. I'm not a hairdresser. I just cut them until I like the way they look. <laughs> when I was out in Colorado, visiting my daughter several years ago. Uh, the kids took me to um, a, a hairdresser. Um, I asked the hairdresser out there in Colorado, I want to cut my own bangs. And my hair was only up to here. And it was dark, it was my natural hair color because I was dyeing my hair. And um, I asked, I said, I want to cut my own bangs. How do I do it? And he showed me how to do it. And it was the funniest thing because the other hairdressers were sitting in, in the room. They didn't have any clients. And they were watching. And it was such a great experience. <laughs> it was a bundle of fun. Anyway, I have a, a YouTube friend, Maggie D. Hi, Maggie. I love her. She has the same kind of personality that I have. A little more subdued, though. <laughs> And uh, I told her that if I ever get back out to Colorado, that I was going to look her up so we could go out for coffee, <laughs> maybe spend the day together. And I mean it. I mean, you know, I'm not retired yet, so I can't do any of these things. And, you know, maybe her husband would really like my husband. Um but anyway, but here I am doing my own thing now. I've got the long, long hair. It's I'm going gray. I'm not completely white yet or silver. And I do what's best for me. And the bangs work for me because I don't want a my hair to recede in these areas. That's why I do it. No other reason. And thank you to those of you that said that I look good with with my hair pulled back. That's the way I used to wear it. And my eyelashes have a slight curl to them. Left over from yesterday. 
I've been using that Asian technique. And so I washed my face last night, but, you know, I got up this morning and I'm like, wow, they're still, they're still slightly curled. And this is how I like them to be curled. I don't like them going boing and touching up here. To me, uh, you know, my eyelashes used to be that long, by the way. <laughs> they were very long. All right, I got my other mirror. So I'm going to put this mascara on my eyelashes. I want to give this mascara a really good shot because what impressed me about it, I got to dip it back in because I was gabbing. What impressed me about this mascara is the way it separates my lashes. And it's not a tubing mascara. Okay. Oh, there's some, there's some yuckies on the tip. All right. Let's try this again. So after I get done doing this little video, this is why I put my bangs back because they get in the way. After I get done doing this video, I'm going to do the card reading for the global situation that we are in. And we are all in it. We are all in it. It isn't my focus. It isn't my everyday focus. Gosh, if it were my everyday focus, I'd be depressed. And believe me, I'm not making millions like like these talking heads on TV. As I say, the television telling us what our vision should be. No thanks. I got my own vision. So let me see in the magnifying mirror what this looks like. Love this mirror. It's It was handmade for me by my mother-in-law. Because it's a work of art, I actually have it. Um, a special bracket so I can turn it around and people can see the actual artwork. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I want to give this Elf Lash Beats Mascara a fair shake. Okay, so that's one coat, and I'm going, well, actually it's two, because I put a little on upstairs. So I don't want to lie, I don't want to be like, you know, mascara gate. Good Lord, I don't need those people coming after me. That's the thing about doing videos. You can get people that go, well, you said in this video, yeah, I did. You're right. I'm not sponsored. Nobody's paying me any money to do any of their anything. I buy all my products with my own money. But Elf did gift me this, and I'm going to give it a fair shake. All right? It was a gift. It's not... It's not, uh, it's, it, it's PR. It's the only PR I've gotten. <laughs> hey, I would accept more PR. I don't have a problem with that. I do, um, I'm cautious about signing contracts, though. I'm not, I, you know, I want to be myself. And I don't want to be, feel like, not even if they didn't say it. I don't want to feel like I'm doing it just because. To me, that's not authentic. Authenticity is, I tried this product. This company reached out to me. These are my thoughts, okay? Pros and cons. That's fair and balanced. But yeah, I, you know... Mascaragate, <laughs> God. 
Google it if you don't know what it is. But you know, here's the thing. Do people even think anymore? I mean, really think. Like, is it think a thought, blurp it out? Or is it think a thought, blurp it out, rethink, maybe? Or how about not blurp it out at all and really think about something? I was thinking about that mascara gate. What if she used a primer that had little fibers in it and then put the mascara on and it made it look like she had thicker eyelashes and then people kind of went crazy and said she put on false eyelashes because I've stared at those pictures and I'm like well yeah that one does look fuller but it's nothing that a fiber base wouldn't create. But then again, I'm the kind of person that always gives people the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to ruin their reputation. So that's what I mean by, have you ever just kind of blurped something out and then realized, oh, shouldn't have done that? Well, we all do it. I'm doing my bottom lashes because when I don't use eyeliner or I don't use pencil, I like to put mascara on my bottom lashes. This is what my eye my eyelashes look close up. Okay? And this is the Elf Lash Beats mascara. And I really like it. So this would be three coats and it's not chunky. Now the telescopic mascara, um, if I put three coats on, it's so volumizing and dramatic. But when I come down here, I'm like, oh God, that's too much mascara. So bear with me on some of these videos. Okay. I'm trying to think. There was one other thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, I remembered. This is really important. When you see a video of me driving in my car, I'm hands-free. But I don't want to go, I'm hands-free while I'm driving because my hands won't be on the wheel. And when people say you really shouldn't do that because you're distracted, give me a break. People drink. Oh, where's my soda? Oh, yeah, it's down there. Oh, I got to grab my soda. Eyes off the road for two seconds. Take a sip. Put it back down. Kids are fighting in the back seat of the car. Guys, guys, I said, please, please, I'm trying to drive. That kind of thing. Or you eventually have to pull over. But we're not going anywhere until you two stop fighting. Or you three. Or however many you have. Yeah. And there's the other thing. Two people are driving along. And the person that's the passenger is talking. And the driver is listening. That's okay. The driver can... So what's the driver supposed to do? Not ever respond? Not ever talk? Not say anything? That's a distraction. Oh, don't touch any buttons on that screen on your brand new vehicle because you're touching a button. Your eye is off the road for a second. That's a distraction. Do not. And people do smoke cigarettes, and I know YouTube. I am not a proponent of it. Okay, I'll tell that story another time, but people smoke cigarettes. People look for their cigarettes in their pocketbook. People have to do their GPSs. Oh, 
the GPS is wrong. Oh, they're going to go on the... Now we've got the Alexa, right? In cars. So you can talk to it. Oh, she just came on in the other room. Well, I don't have a car like that, right? I don't have a vehicle like that. I don't know what my vehicle is going to be like in a year and a half because I, I lease my vehicle. And because I lease my vehicle, I'm very cautious on the road. And if I do a video, a hands-free video, it's on roads that I've driven on for 50 years. It's not on roads I don't know. It's not on major highways. It's not in high traffic areas. So chill out. I'm an adult. I can make this decision. And no, I do not text while I'm driving. Matter of fact, one time I did. My son was in the car and he yanked the phone out of my hand and said, Mom, what are you doing? Well, this is an emer this is an important message. I don't care. Pull over. That was it for me. I mean, I didn't do it all the time, but he happened to be in the car and thank God for children, right? Because we're in that society now where it's got to gotta go, got to be, got to get, got to do, got to have, got to be, got to do, got to have. It's mind boggling. It's crazy making. It's making people sick. It's making people sick. And it's making our youth sick. All of this. All of this stuff. I'm, I'm re-evaluating my TikTok account. I don't know what I'm going to do. But YouTube is my thing. And... I, I, I don't like the fast, 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 fast. It makes me want to go cross-eyed. It, it almost, you know, it's like an adrenaline thing. And I, I don't, no, I don't want that. I lived under adrenaline for 20 years. No, thank you. So, anyway, I'm not going to apologize because this is my personality. For the most part, I'm subdued. I love life, but there are just some things that, you know, make my hair stand up straight. I'm just kidding around. Um, but yeah, I mean, there are just some things that I'm very passionate about. And when I get passionate, I tend to get loud and I'd rather be soft. <laughs> but when you stick up for people or you are fighting a cause that is near and dear to your heart, you're not going to be quiet about it. Speaking of quiet, I'm going to go. That's my cue right there to go let them out. So I will talk to you guys on the other side at the card reading. Okay. Be well, be blessed, be beautiful because you are. And I appreciate you very much. All of you. Even the ones that you might give me a hard time. I appreciate you. At least you're using your voice. Okay. Bye-bye.